What is going on guys? Welcome back. Today we have a very interesting video because I am covering the most exciting technology I experienced at CES 2023, specifically for the tire industry. So I'm going to be, you know, having some very interesting conversations in this video about some new technologies when it comes to rubber, to smart tires, airless tires. Now keep in mind that all of the technologies I talk in this video do relate to the automotive tire industry and I will be leaving links of the company companies below in case you want to learn more about these companies you can reach out to them since I may not really explain their technology as good as they can also before we begin please smash that like button if you enjoy this video it took me a lot of time to get this together so by you smashing that like button I know that you enjoy more content like this and finally stick to the end if you want to see some really nice bonus material and futuristic vehicles uh, that I also saw at CS that maybe you'll be interested in now first up let's talk about Bridgestone's natural rubber plant. Now, tires are primarily made with rubber, which is sourced from countries like Thailand. And according to some news outlets, it's done in a not very nice way. But Bridgestone is investing in a plant that is heat tolerant and considered a desert shrub that can produce rubber as an alternative option to current supplying ways. The reason this is important and fascinating is because normally traditional rubber generating trees require much work and water while these smaller plants can be planted and produced domestically reducing the cost of tires. Now, According to Bridgestone, using the Guayul plant not only reduces waste but it also has the potential to significantly lower the carbon footprint of the tire industry. They already make a tire using this type of rubber and that is a racing tire so it shows that this type of rubber can actually be a durable and uh, used for high performance scenarios. Not to mention also Bridgestone does have a smart sensor as well. They did display a smart sensor. As you can see, the actual size of the sensor will be much smaller than the ones they had in the demo. And of course it won't glow, but it's uh, a sensor that will gather information and pretty much report into a POS system or a fleet management system so that you know fleet owners and managers can know more about the wear and the use of these tires. Bridgestone did also have a rover tire in display, which again was kind of nice and uh, to see in their booth. Next up, we have Cerebrum sensor, which is a smart tire sensor. These sensors are embedded into tires and provide real time data on tire pressure, temperature and other important metrics. This information is then transmitted wirelessly into an app. Uh, now, just think about it. If you are running a trucking company or you have a large fleet, you can then install these sensors on your tires and you should be able to run a report which will tell you which tires are running low on tread or have low PSI. I spoke with the founder and there may be a possibility of me even integrating uh, my POS system into this program or this sensor specifically. However, in the meantime, uh, it does connect to the app so you could run reports there. Now the installation is just like a patch and then the sensor can be replaced every so often once the battery dies. So technically you are installing the housing of the sensor and then the sensor can be swapped again once the battery dies. Now note that Bridgestone is also developing their own sensor like I mentioned before. I'm not really sure if they're working together in collaboration with Cerebrum, but they both work in a fairly similar way. Now another exciting technology on display at CES 2023 is translator earbuds. I personally have been to China over 10 times and every time I go the language barrier is real. So having something like this that is portable and quick to set up is very very exciting. You get two earbuds, one person can put one and you put the other one it then translates using internet however they do have an offline version if you don't have any internet but they did say it wasn't very accurate I do think that most places either way where I would have my meetings would have internet so I don't think that's a big issue for myself at least and I really am looking forward to buying a pair at least testing a pair once I go to China on my next trip again if you are someone who's planning on purchasing products overseas you might have a trip set in mind well this could be a good tool to you know make sure that they're not negotiating behind your back or make sure that you're understanding their language in a very good way now next up is airless tires if you've ever had a flat tire then you'll appreciate this technology the company behind it is called smart tires they claim that they've built the tires on a space rover and well they had some nice demos to watch 
I didn't see any passenger tires yet. However, I did ask the guy in the booth and he said that the passenger tires will be coming in fairly soon, but they did have a bike that had airless tires. And so pretty much the technology behind it is like, I guess they use some sort of steel uh, loops around the tire that will secure that the tire won't really need any air because the steel will kind of maintain that compound. It is a special type of steel. It's not just your typical, you know, steel. It is a steel that's flexible and that could go back to its original shape or form once it's you know hits a curve or something like that so it's definitely some interesting technology and concept uh, i did enjoy watching this uh, you know especially the bike but let me know what you guys think do you guys really think this will truly hit and be the future of the tire industry i'm excited to see what you guys have to say so it's metallic but it, it recovers like plastic uh, like a like a rubber got it Next up is a company called Kiri. I added them because they make it easy to scan items into an augmented reality product. So imagine you are trying to sell some tires to your customer online and you have the ability to let them see how the tire looks like in AR or even have it fitted into their vehicle. This would be some next level shopping experience. And well, I have some very interesting ideas that I may be collaborating with them in the future to again, help find ways on how to improve customer shopping experience. But I thought I should name them because I thought their app was fairly easy to use and thought they should be in my video. Now at number six, we got Lightyear Solar. Now this is a solar powered electric vehicle. And while the concept of a solar car is really cool, I thought the tires and how they looked was even cooler. It seems that this car would not have a traditional wheel on it since the wheel is actually a motor and the tire would be mounted on a ring like wheel. Lugs would then be bolted around the ring to then be attached into the vehicle. I did feel the lug nuts looked a bit thin, but overall I do like the concept and I like how companies like these are just challenging really the old traditional ways of doing things. Next company we got is Easy Rain. When it rains, it can be difficult to drive, everybody knows that, but the Easy Rain technology aims to change that. The idea is simple, push air to the road so that the tire gets a drier surface to drive in, therefore must be a lot more safer. Now I do have some questions uh, like how loud would this be and how would it impact the range on electric vehicles, you know, since it's actually pushing air against towards where you're driving. But other than that, I thought the idea was very nice and interesting and a potential solution to helping reduce the risk of accidents and improving overall safety when driving when it's raining. For this next piece of tech, it solves a problem many of us has been facing and that is finding talented and reliable staff. The company wants to help you have a virtual employee hologram. These holograms allow businesses to create virtual representations of their employees that can be used to interact with customers and perform various tasks like answering how much does a tire cost. This will help and reduce uh, physical employees, but it also has the potential to improve overall customer satisfaction. If you're familiar with ChatGPT, sometimes some of these AI bots are much more smarter and better trained than a typical customer service agent or a sales rep. And well, this could be a glimpse of the future. Imagine walking into a tire store and all the tire questions you have uh, but for the mechanic or for the sales rep or for the service advisor can simply be answered correctly by this hologram. I'm sure all customers would be very happy not having to wait or just wait in line. Also, I thought I'd note out that this specific company right here uh, has a special type of hologram. It's not just a screen, but it actually kind of conveys that depth of the hologram. It kind of forecasts a shadow which I thought was very realistic looking and it really looks like a person is just inside a box. Finally, we have Robot Arms. Now, if you haven't noticed, there is a company called Robotire and while they weren't at CES, I did reach out to some of the robotics companies at CES asking them if it would be hard to develop arms that could help us remove lug nuts for let's say tire techs. 
Many of them said it would be easy, and these arms are designed to assist technicians in tire-related tasks such as mounting or dismounting tires. Eventually, you have to understand that automation is what we are heading into. And well, we need to think of how can we automate everything, really, from the sales rep to the tire technician, but I don't know, what do you guys think? Is this going too far? Uh, sometimes I'm personally scared because what if we automate absolutely everything? But again, I do feel that that's just where the industry is going, that's where everything is going, and that's where unfortunately or fortunately, we have to aim to change and adapt ourselves into. Now, as bonus material as promised, I do have some very cool vehicles I would like to talk about. For example, this applied EV uh, vehicle that has like a robot arm attached, kind of makes me think it would be nice to have some sort of roadside assistance, you know, an automated roadside assistance. Uh, AI powered bot that would be really cool another very nice vehicle that I liked a lot was a new EV Ram uh, I got to see the unveiling and the truck itself and it's honestly a truck I would definitely buy I mean I already have a pre-ordered for my cyber truck however this Ram truck is a truck that looks just comfortable, fun to drive, and it just looks like really, really modern and futuristic, which again, I'm, I'm really forward to that. Another vehicle that I really thought just caught my mind and my attention was this uh, this vehicle right here you guys got. I, I don't know how to pronounce the brand, so I'm just not even gonna try, but I thought it looked very, very modern, like from a movie. The seats look a bit comfortable, but again, I did not sit in them, so I don't know if they truly are comfortable, but I did like that the vehicle had like screens outside, like this automation, uh, you know, kind of like moves around. And it's just a vehicle that just looks very, 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 very futuristic, honestly. The last vehicle we got here is for all the fans of Back to the Future, a new and improved, I guess, DeLorean, which I feel it's more of a concept vehicle. It's not really a real car or a vehicle at all because the tires, again, were made out of plastic. So I wouldn't just say this is just like a prop for you to have in some sort of convention, you know, really. But it, it was still nice to see. And again, definitely caught a lot of eyeballs and it was a nice uh, kind of concept. Well, but that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know CES was back in January, so it's almost a month later since I published this video. Again, I just had to run some edits and make sure that the B-roll was fine. And I also had some other stuff, but anyways, finally got the video out. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know which is the most interesting part of this video are you guys really looking forward to automation hopefully this gave you an idea of where the entire industry is moving towards in the future and hopefully this prepares you to embrace uh you know and kind of like make that change so uh, if you like this video consider subscribing i do talk about the tire industry all the time so if you have any ideas any questions feel free to reach out to me via instagram or commenting and i'm always trying to respond as fast as possible again Thank you so much, guys. I hope you enjoy. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.